What's going on there, everyone? There's a pretty wild court case that's been unfolding for a while in um, Phoenix, Arizona. It's wrapped the right to embryos that were frozen um, when this woman had cancer. And, and uh, her and her boyfriend got married a couple days after they signed an agreement on uh, these embryos. I mean, it's a pretty much what happened is a woman had breast cancer, so she had to go through chemotherapy and all that, and then um, chemotherapy can put you into like mental, menopause hormone levels, which makes it to where even once you're done, if you get cured and all that, you'll probably never be able to have the chance to have a child again. So she froze embryos before she had the chemo, or she froze her eggs and had them fertilized with her boyfriend at the time, which four days later they got married. And, um, yeah, uh, two years later they ended up getting a divorce. So they went to court over these embryos. Because the guy was, you know, he had standard argument that, all right, we're not together. Those embryos, they were fertilized with my sperm. How, how can you use those embryos to get yourself pregnant now that you're cured and all that? It's going to screw my life up, you know, because he's going to have to pay child support and all that. She did say... Um, uh, Miss Torres, she did say that uh, she didn't plan on having the guy do um, child support and all that, but it's really not her decision because she has a baby and she uses any type of governmental assistance. That's the state's the state's right to go after him for child support, regardless whether she wants it or not. Once she, if, not saying she's going to use state assistance, but if she were to, then there's he would be implicated in having to pay and all that. It'd be, it'd be weird. It'd be a weird situation. But um, I don't know how I feel about this case. It's a, it was a very odd case. I do believe she has the right to those embryos, but should there be? Should there be like a contract written up where he is absolved from any anything to do with the child now that they're divorced and all of this? It, uh, it, it it's weird. It's a weird case. Like I said, it, it brings up a lot of different different thoughts. You know, is he absolved even though those embryos were fertilized with his sperm because they were not used while they were married? And then they ended up becoming divorced. Should he still be on the hook, for a lack of a better term, for taking care of that child if she chooses to get her or to use them to get pregnant, to use the embryos to get pregnant? It's 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 odd. I don't think, it, it, just my personal opinion, I don't think he should. Because it was f during their marriage and all this. And things change, people change, times change. They ended up getting a divorce. I do also believe that she should be able to use the embryos. I think the, the best situation, because he, I mean, when it comes to this case, he won the trial case where she originally sued him. And then the courts said that, you know, he doesn't, since you're divorced and all this, you didn't use it while you were uh, married. It's, it's pretty much null and void. But then she appealed it. It went to a higher court. And um, the higher court uh, sided with her. Uh, it said it took uh, into account that Taurus gave up the opportunity to use another donor. And she's likely unable to become a parent biological or otherwise through other means. And the reason it says that is because when they were originally signing this contract uh, 
for the embryos that she was going to use an ex-boyfriend and the guy didn't like that idea considering you know they were together and all this so he said out of a favor to her he did it i don't like that that's kind of something you know kind of a for lack of a better term dickish way to put it but even though he kind of seems like an ass i still think he shouldn't he shouldn't have to be responsible for that child anymore because that relationship was over without a child you know they didn't when they got married they didn't for two years they did not use those embryos at all and now that they're divorced she wants to use them so it's like where do, where where do you draw the line in that situation like i stated earlier i think they should draw the line by letting her use the embryos but absolving him from any responsibility of that embryo i think that'd be the best way to go about it because then they both get what they want she wants a child he doesn't that w they both get what they want i think that would be the most fair thing the most obvious thing to do but it is in the court system and we know how that goes but I'm, I'm going to put a link in the description to this story if you want to check it out. It's, it's Like I said, it's very interesting, and I'd love to hear your comments on it. So comment away. Let me know your opinions, your views on it. It's, it's a fascinating story that's going to set court precedents, so I, I think it's kind of important to talk about. But as always, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.